you play an instrument? Have you ever <coughs> have you ever played an instrument? Raise your hand if you have. Let me tell you the effects it has on your brain. When you play an instrument, it helps you during work or school. It also helps the brain development. It makes you feel and act different ways. Different types of music. Wait. It also helps you memorize. Different types of music can help you in different ways. For example, music helps you during work or school. First, it helps with the cognitive functions. The cognitive functions are the brain-based skills we need to carry out any task from the simplest to the most complex. They have more to do with how we learn, remember, problem solve, and pay attention, rather than with any actual knowledge. So the more we use cognitive functions, the easier it is to problem solve our subject to come to an answer. Music helps with the, the hand-eye coordination skills. Hand-eye coordination tells your eyes to direct muscles toward the task, such as eating or brushing our hair. The vision system identifies what we see and sends signals to muscles to make our hands move. Why is this important? We need to coordinate our brain to write with a pencil and pick up small objects. More importantly, good hand-eye coordination can stop a ball from hitting your face. Music changes the way you act and how you feel, depending on what you are playing playing an instrument or listening to calm music the night before you go to school can calm you down or help you fall asleep. A study at ASU showed that people listening to relaxing music had a shorter stress, stress response than those who did not listen to the music. The shorter stress response shows that it helps your body from not getting worn out as easily. This means that listening to relaxing music helps too. <coughs> music helps you in different ways. Different types of music can help you in different ways. When you listen or play to classical music, it makes you calm. When you listen or play to rock music, it makes you calm. Tapping along with music stimulates the cerebellum, which makes your muscles move. This means that different types of music can help too. Of course, we use both hands when we are playing musical instrument. Using both hands, the corpus callosum in our brain gets bigger. The corpus callosum is a thick band of nerves that connects one side of your brain to the other side of your brain, allowing both sides of your brain to communicate with each other. So when you're playing a musical instrument using both hands, the, your brain has to be stronger to make the notes work. <coughs> Music forms a rhythm that helps you memorize things by making a pattern into a, a, a song. We are naturally attracted to patterns and rhythms. When learning how to play a musical instrument, you need to know how to <coughs> memorize what you have to know the rhythm and you also have to memorize the notes to form a song. <coughs> so memorizing notes and where your fingers go to play those notes exercises your brain on how to memorize. It's kind of like a muscle. You need to use it to make it stronger. When you play a musical instrument, you use almost all parts of your brain. It keeps your brain active and helps you learn. You make your brain stronger and reduce your stress and improve your health. It helps you stay younger by improving your memory. It is never too late to go out and pick up a musical instrument. What are you waiting for? Thank <laughs> you.